This is a real good otak otak. Hi guys, now today we're taking it up a notch. We're making grilled seafood cake or also known in this part of the world as ota ota. It's going to be soft, tender, spicy, rich, herbaceous, all of the above. Delicious. Let's go. All right, so first of all for our ota ota, we need our spice paste. Yeah, so we're going to start off. This is shrimp paste, also known as balachan. Shallots into the food processor. Lemongrass, thinly slice them. This just aids the processing. Galangal or blue ginger. Garlic, turmeric. Candle nuts in. I'm gonna add in a little bit of oil. Blitz. Almost forgot. Here I have my dried chilies that I've hydrated in hot water. Now, if you don't have dried chilies, you can substitute it with red chilies. Uh, but if you're only using red chilies, then I suggest you add in some bird's eye chili for a little bit of heat. Back in the food processor. All right, nice. Turn on the wok, add in some oil. Now, I've known some recipes out there, uh, they don't require you to fry the paste, but um, I personally prefer the paste to be fried so that it has sort of a milder uh, flavor to it. And not just that, but you also extract a lot more flavor. Spice paste goes in. Now this would take a good maybe uh, 10 to 15 minutes for you to fry out the paste, yeah, until the oil splits. Now while that's happening, this is when we start prepping our seafood, uh, sea bass filet. You can get this from your fish monger, um, get them to fillet it for you. It's easier to work that way. Okay, cut it down in half. And we're going to be removing the skin. Take a little bit off the back, expose the skin and start cutting downwards. Okay, hang on to the skin. And what you can do is, as you're tugging the skin, you're moving the knife forward. But your knife is always pointed downwards. There we go, skin out. Cut the fish, thin slices, and then we're gonna sort of chop it up. Okay, now this fish, sort of dice them up. Now you can use a food processor and sort of process the fish meat. I prefer to have it a little bit more textural. Yeah, so that's why I'm just using a knife to cut them. Roughly, use your knife and run it through. This goes into a bowl. Okay, now that you can see that the spice paste is sort of nice and crisp up, turn off the heat and put that aside, let it cool down a little bit. Now we've got prawns. I've just shelled these prawns. Uh, what we're gonna do is just cut them, same thing. Cut them into chunks and then we're gonna mince them. Now the prawns will give this paste a nicer texture, a nice sort of succulent, springy texture to the dish. Now, we're gonna add in an egg. Now, coconut milk, the spice paste goes in. Here's the thing, if you're going to be marinating the fish, uh, the seafood paste for a period of time, then it's important that you let the spice paste completely cool down before um, you add it to your seafood. If not, if you're going to be cooking it immediately just like how I would be, uh, then it's okay. Yeah, because you don't want to introduce temperature to seafood and then uh, let it sit for too long. You can season with salt, but I prefer to season with a bit of fish sauce. Just a touch of sugar. Put that aside, and now we've got some of these. Kaffir lime leaf. Yeah, this is going to perfume the dish even further. You've got things like coconut milk, you've got chilies. It's a very rich paste. So having a little bit of kaffir lime leaf will sort of lighten it up a little bit. The easiest way I find to cut them is to sort of bring it together, cut down this way. You still get this nice fine shreds of kaffir lime leaf. In. Once again, give it another stir. Now, it's important to taste because once you start packing it inside the banana leaf and cooking it, um, there's no turning back if, in case you've not added enough salt. So, mm, nice. All right, so now, I'll be showing you two different ways of how you can pack it and cook it. Same pace, 
two different cooking techniques for two different outcomes. One way we're gonna steam, the other way we're gonna grill. Yeah, but for both ways, before we begin, yeah, what we'll need to do is sort of, we'll need to scald or just slightly toast, roast the banana leaf. This will sort of soften them a little bit uh, and make them less brittle. Yeah, you can see the difference in color. Now these two we're gonna use as the molds to steam and the rest we're gonna be using as the wrappers to grill this nice seafood paste. Spoon a decent amount of this ota ota or seafood paste onto the banana leaf. And what we're gonna do is just fold it this way. Once you fold it, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold the outsides in like this. And this is just to ensure that um, the spice paste doesn't leak out. Yeah, it's just to secure it even further. There we go, one end. You can use a stapler, uh, but if you are using going down that route, I suggest you be very careful once you unwrap it because you, know, you don't want to have stapler in your food. All right, now we're moving on to the steamed version. So we're making a mold out of this round out, cut out uh, banana leaf. So what you want to do is fold in and fold uh, back towards the, the other side and pierce it so that it holds and then repeat it on all four sides. All right, well, it's not perfect. It's never really great with this craft and school stuff, but it'll work. So take a big ladle of this paste, right? We're gonna drop it right down the middle. Doesn't look too bad, right? Come on! All right, let's get into the next piece. So, this one's we're gonna steam. There we go, nice. Yeah, we're gonna steam this for about 15 to 20 minutes, okay? Because it is quite thick and uh, it will require that amount of time. Now, for these ones, we're gonna grill. And because they are this thin, uh, it's gonna take about, say, half the time, 10 minutes or so. You don't want the pan to be too hot. Yeah, the idea is not to burn because the banana leaf, although it's the layer of protection, but it is also quite fragile. So if you have it under too extreme heat, the banana leaf is gonna burn off and you know it's gonna burn into that paste. So when you're eating it, the banana leaf is just gonna be very brittle and just break all over in that paste. And that's not what you want, yeah? And let it take its time to grill. Okay, now it's time to flip. Look at that, beautiful. If you touch the paste, it's sort of firm already. You know it's almost cooked, yeah? Now it's just to get it all the way cooked on the other side and it's ready to be served. All right, so now the grilled ones are done. It's time to remove. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, there we go. We'll let that cool down because I don't want to burn my fingers while we wait for the steam ones. All right, now, voila. And this, ladies and gentlemen, it's done. Let's lift this up, tilt whatever liquid out. Be very, very careful. Don't tilt out the entire cake. Go ahead. nice. All right, guys, so this is Ota Ota or seafood paste. Yeah, seafood cake, both steamed and grilled using the same recipe. All right, so now it's time to taste. All right, let's dig in the steamed one first. Look at how tender that is. Soft. Oh, so, so aromatic. Mm. I tell you, for something as delicate as this, but the flavor is so bold. And the addition of the prawn just gives the ota ota a very different texture, makes it a lot more succulent than just a one dimension texture of just fish uh, that's soft in general. You know? The flavors, the spice paste, the kefir lime leaf really coming through. Now let's have a taste of this grilled ones. And because there's no starch added in here, look at how soft that is. Yeah. Look at how soft, how tender it just comes apart. Mm. 
rich with the coconut milk in there. This is something that you can prepare in advance. Yep. If you want to prepare this in advance, make the paste ready, wrap it in a banana leaf, steam it first, and then let it completely cool down. You can chuck it in the freezer yep. for months. It can be in there, and then when you're ready to eat, just remove it, thaw it, chuck it on the grill, heat it back up, and you've got beautiful otak otak, homemade otak otak. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this recipe, um, please do hit the like and subscribe button. Your family is going to love this. Uh, your friends, if you're cooking for your friends, invite them over for dinner. Chuck this on the table. It's definitely a showstopper. It seems complicated, sophisticated, exotic, and most importantly, delicious. I'll see you next week, guys. Look at that. You can see the cafe lime leaf. You can see the fish. Oh, goodness. Mm. Bye-bye.